Hello everyone, this is Eli, and I'm here with Jordan. Hey everyone. And we are Cardboard Confrontation, and today we're going to play some Commander. <clears throat> and today I'm playing Tatiova, Benthic Druid, for a blue, green, and three. I get a 3-3. Three, three. That whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I gain a life and draw a card. And I'm playing Tanab the Harvester, which is a 6 mana 6-6 six, six flying. Uh, whenever it deals damage to a player, I can tap 3 and put a target creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Yes. Alright, turn 1, Swamp, Duress. Take that, punk. Duress, really? Mana Drain. Not so much for Mana Drain. Yeah, get out of there, buddy. My hand was awful. It was the only halfway decent thing in there. <laughs> That's yeah, fine, you gotta uh, add a rock. Let's go. So you can tap and sack. Oh, you can't even sack it. Sack it? Yeah, I was thinking about Commander Sphere. Commander Sphere. Yeah, I wish they hadn't awarded it with the uh, color identity on it. Then you'd be able to use it in other formats as well. And still, yeah, it would still work the same. And, and well, actually, no, because now you're allowed to add mana of other color that doesn't then become colorless. So, mm -hmm. just be nice to be able to use it in another format with like Sun Titan. Well, yeah. Well then. Get a rock. Rock it up. Rock. You're such a rock star, buddy. Um, uh, sure. I guess I'll just take that thing down. Why not? You don't need it, right? Oh, lucky. <laughs> I put a another artifact removal on the bottom of my deck. I'm like, ah, I don't need this. anything good why are you gonna thought sees me now oh no maybe probably not I guess not oh that's not nice at all all right do do do, do. okay finish steed sure Coming in with a sage. One, two, three. Uh oh, blocker. Mm hmm, get that. See you. Was what I was looking for. Yeah. Let's go aggro. So this is just death touch, right? Okay. Yep. Nothing special. No. <clears throat> uh, no blocks. Just death touch, you say. Yeah, sealed commander. Okay. Play a land. Draw a card. How lucky. Another card. Hmm. Save some time. 
up here in command tower. Say go. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we go by I land. Track card. So broken. It's very good. I know. It's a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's a pretty good draw. Not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Okay. Exile that deed. Beginning of combat. Send in the squad. Ba ba ba. Yep. Take it. Uh, no land to play yet. Yeah. Well, I wish I had no land to play. Knight's Whisper, good card. You probably draw land. Definitely not drawing land. Hmm. There is 38 in there. I am a 38 land guy. Or yeah, more. Yeah. I think this deck is playing like 43. <clears throat> Ooh, that is. That is something. All right, so. What do I want to do? I am not sure. Well, I guess we start with a brainstorm. Main phase. You know it says instant, right? Yes, it's still generally best to always cast brainstorm though on your own turn since you see one card deeper. You actually see most people cast brainstorm on their own turns. So it's weird. It's, a, it's an instant, but it almost kind of plays like a sorcery. Uh, okay, so I want to sequence this, so uh, I guess I put that in that pack. And it doesn't really matter since I'm going to play two land and draw two cards anyway. Play land. Then... Um, Yeah. One, two, three, Pisa. Play land. Uh, trouble. Play I'm land. Trouble. Okay. Three, four, five. Uh, I don't want to overplay in case you have a damnation, so. Play Crufix and uh, yep, send in the squad. All right, the Simic squad, Simic Dream Team. Rough. Damnation. Need to get a land first. Oh, ten nations four mana. Oh, we got five. Oh, are you back in a uh, crux of fate? Crux of fate in hand. Non dragons. Nature's lower. Problem is, is I need like another turn or two just to get going here. I'm getting stifled on mana kind of rough. True that. Oh, this is so rough. Um, kind of want both of these, so it's kind of sucky. You get to keep them both, though. Well, yeah, I do. Ooh, that's spicy. 
<laughs> uh, well, might as well. Uh, trade routes. One, two, three. Choose target land. Return island. Pay one. Play it again. Spicy. Very spicy. Turn the forest. Pay one. Play the forest. Draw a card. <laughs> it's gross. Yep. And Fucking disgusting. Play land. I know this tattoo of abilities. Surprised they just didn't make it when you play your when you when you, when you play a land. So you like first land a turn or whatever, but it's just landfall period. Uh, one blue man in my pool. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, I'm also trying to end the pain. <laughs> really? Are you? Yes. Um, I don't know if that's uh Yes, that's that's okay. I don't know if that was just hitting the pain or rubbing in the salt. Well, I have a feeling you have crux of fate in your hand, so if you can't wrath my squad, we can kill you next turn, which ends the pain. I don't know about that. Haven't got time for the pain. <sighs> well, trade roots is Zuza. Tatiova. That's a pretty good yeah. three card combo. So, like. Plow. Okay, okay, go on. Uh, yep. Yeah. Definitely didn't have enough mana this game to do anything. Plow that guy, okay. Yes. Bam. Okay. Do I have any haste? No. Six, seven. Good old Avenger. It's not haste at all. No. Yes. Choose a land. Eh, it's game of life. Do that. Let's do that. Let's see if I find some haste. One land play remaining. Well. I did find haste. Not that I needed it, but send in the squad. I trying to yep. I was trying to find a uh, I think there's a concordant crossroads in this deck. So I was trying to dig for. <laughs> oh GG, Tatiova. You saw my hand since you dressed, it was not spectacular, but this commander to let you draw an insane amount of cards and you can just draw out of it. It's pretty good. That's for darn sure. That ability is quite uh, quite spicy. Just for doing something you want to just naturally do the magic anyway. Just play land. It's yeah. pretty gross. It is. It's uh, Tatio versus uh, Teneb. <laughs> Teneb, yeah. The Battle of the, Battle of the Tees. Teneb usually has a pretty good showing. I think the last time I played it and the last time you played it, it uh, squashed the other deck it was up against. It's 
pretty uh it's a pretty good deck pretty resilient lots of uh wipes a little bit of hand disruption some reanimation some uh some ramp yeah it's a little bit slow but once it gets going it's pretty good yeah it's a lot of fun it's actually i really like that deck it's actually one of the first commander decks i ever played it's actually a uh before i started playing commander when i was playing a hundred card singleton that was a uh that was the deck i was playing cool thanks for watching everyone ciao